Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hey all, late night cappy, asshole consulting, so you gotta get the work done when you're up. Uh, hey all, asshole Jesse here. I am 19 years old and currently going into my second year of college this fall. Right now I am a full-time student at community college getting my basic courses done with, and I work two days a week. Good. As of now, I have a 4.0 GPA, and I am in the chemical engineering program, but I plan on transferring to a four-year college by next year and pursuing a petroleum engineering major. I live with my parents and plan on moving out by next summer. My parents chose to pay my tuition as long as I focus on school and make good grades. Oh, wow, nice folks. This allows me to save around 350 a month and I don't have to pay bills. I should have at least 20000 in the bank before I leave my parents' house. <laughs> well, <clears throat> For the past couple of months, I have been reading articles from well-known publishers like the Wall Street Journal and studying the oil industry with a drop in oil prices. It has affected the students graduating with petroleum engineering degrees. Students are having a hard time finding jobs after college or even internships are often hard to get. What seemed to be a promising career is now looking bleak. There's been hundreds of thousands of layoffs just in the past years. Companies are trying to cut billions in spending because of the oil price drop. To add to this problem, the amount of students in petroleum engineering programs in the country have more than doubled, but jobs offerings are diminishing. This concerns me because one, I live in a state where there's no petroleum engineering program, so I would have to go out of state, and that means I would be paying for uh, paying out of state tuition. I would rather stay. I rather stay in state and pursue something else if the oil industry doesn't rebound. Two, I don't want to waste four years of my life in the college bubble and not land a job after college. <clears throat> it seems like the job labor market for STEM majors is just getting worse by the day. Right now I have some time to reconsider my major and have been looking into software computer engineering. I'm also looking to join the Army the National Guard to be more specific to help out with tuition. Smart idea. What do you think about the oil industry slump and how long do you think it will last? How do you think it will affect future students? If I knew what was going to happen in the oil market, I would be a billionaire. All right, so I can't tell you what's going to happen. I think the prices are going to go up and down. That's what I think. That's that. That's one thing I can tell you. Prices will go up and... This is why I'm such a great economist. They will go down. Mm -hmm. How do you think it will affect future students in the economy? What's your prediction of the industry in the next few years and around the time I graduate, 2018, 2019? I don't know. There's no way to tell. Saudi Arabia could fart. Uh, Venezuela could go into war. Um, Iran could attack. I mean, there are so many things. There's no way I could predict what's going to happen by 2018, 2019. Should I take the risk of going to a petroleum engineering program or should I go into more promising software engineering? Well, I have to go out of the country to find a job. A word of advice would be much appreciated. A uh, video request, blah, blah, Okay, here's the deal. Nobody can predict the economy. No one. Especially uh, two or three more years out at the time you're going to graduate. However, I can say this, that if you look <clears throat> at price, uh, starting salaries right now, and the National Association of Colleges and Educators came out, and uh, they um, had uh, petroleum engineers as once again the top earning degree even with this collapse. Now, the reason that starting salaries is so important is because that's the economic reality. Now, the Wash this does not mean the Wall Street Journal is wrong or that people are wrong pointing out that there's twice the number of people pursuing petroleum engineering or that uh, the oil prices have dropped and that has caused uh, layoffs at many of the oil companies. But the economy, the labor market, is still telling you something that, okay, maybe it's not as good as it was a year ago or two years ago for petroleum en uh, engineers. Uh, but it's still better than average. Now, if you're worried about a volatile market, and the oil industry is it, it's reasonably volatile, you got to look more for the bursts than you do, you know. I mean, I remember one time when gas, what was it? You could buy a gallon of gas for 89 cents, and that was 2004, <laughs> uh, whenever it was. Uh, but like any other industry, you can, you can get hit, you can get hammered. But petroleum engineering over the long haul is still an outstanding degree. People need petroleum engineers. And if you can't work here in the United States, you can go work over in uh, Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates, or you could go work in Kuwait, or you could, uh, if you want to be risky, you could go work in Saudi Arabia, or you know maybe even Iraq. Um, but it, it's not like what's going to happen today. What's going to are we going to have a bad year? I guarantee every industry anyone's ever going to be in is going to have a bad year. You know, think software engineers 
1998. Right, go to software. And also in 99, 2008, you had the dot-com bust. Well, okay, yeah, they had their bust. Yeah, they had their recession. But now programmers, and uh, software engineering, IT type people, are, are it's recovered. It's back in demand. So if you really like petroleum engineering, I would say do it. If you're still a little cautious, I would go chemical engineering because it's still one of the, the higher earning engineering programs. And it is closely related to petroleum engineering. I watch all the petroleum. No, it's not. It's taking, I, out of the four years you'll be going to school, you'll be taking similar classes so that by the time you graduate with a, a chemical engineering degree, if you want to get a petroleum engineering degree, I'm sure it would be a matter of, of, of a handful of classes, maybe eight or nine extra classes, maybe ten. Um, but still, that would give you something that's a little less volatile, um, would not be completely dependent on, uh, upon commodity prices, uh, and would have a similarly, maybe not as good, but a similarly optimistic lifetimes earning potential that petroleum engineering would have. Uh, so I, I don't I would I would do it I now as you know prices have gone from about a hundred dollars a barrel down to about 50 they, they did recover a little bit up to 60 but now they're back down a little bit you can't predict that but if you want to become a petroleum engineer go become a petroleum engineer they're a lot worse they just understand that if oil prices are down okay you know you may not be hired right off the bat but over the long haul you'll definitely do well um, you know and even if you double the number of petroleum engineers <laughs> you're never going to face the problem of the employment problem that you will as a sociology major. That's it. But if you're still worried about, yeah, software engineering, cool, that's fine. But do you have a passion for it? I mean, you're, as far as I can tell, you're splitting hairs uh, about a problem that is inherent with the economy, no matter what industry. There's going to be ups and downs no matter what. So if you like software engineering, yeah, go software engineering. If you like chemical engineering, go chemical. If you like mechanical, go mechanical. But if you really like petroleum, go petroleum, right? You know, keep your keep your finger on the pulse of the, you know, who, Lord knows it could be the world's worst, you know, and all of a sudden petroleum engineers are being laid off left and right. And also we come up with algae as the new form of, uh, as fuel. But since fossil fuels are going to be with us for quite some time, and most Americans don't like the maths, I think you'd be all right with petroleum engineering. Anyway, keep your eye out on those starting salaries. Don't worry too much about it, but you know, if, if you really are worried about it, switch to something else. Best of luck to you. Toodles.